Hello, I am Dr. Guruchan S. Shetty. I am a consultant interventional radiologist here at Fortis Hospital, Banargata Road, Bangalore. Now, as medicine is making its advances, imaging technology has become better. Radiologists are able to see better into all parts of the body. We have ultrasound, we have X-rays, we have CT, we have MRI, we have PET scan, etc. With advanced imaging, what is coming to light is many diseases are now being uncovered. So, better imaging technology is leading to better diagnosis. But just the better diagnosis, the radiologist's job does not end at better diagnosis. Interventional radiology is that branch of medicine where we are using this imaging to treat the patient. And uh, this has a huge application in the field of oncology. Now tumors are better detected in all regions of the body. The role of the interventional radiologist starts initially itself in actually doing a biopsy of these lesions in difficult to, re difficult to reach regions of the body which earlier could not have been biopsied. After biopsying the lesion, we work closely with the oncologist to decide you know, what is the best treatment for this patient and interventional radiologists have a huge application in this field. In fact, some people even call it interventional oncology. Uh, now, this ranges from, uh, you know, reaching these tumors to perform a biopsy and also going through the endovascular route and sometimes depriving the blood supply from these tumors so that the surgeon can resect it and the surgery is less, there is less blood loss in that surgery or if the tumor in itself is inoperable, we may go in and block those vessels and uh, instill chemotherapy before blocking those vessels. A uh, lot of these uh, oncology patients uh, also needs uh, relief from their jaundice. If there's a tumor obstructing the bile flow, we perform a procedure known as PTBD where we are opening the bile ducts by a strand so that the bile flows out and the patient's jaundice is relieved. Or if the patient is having repeated accumulation of fluid in the abdomen or the chest because of a uh, tumor which is in advanced stages, we can instill, you know, tunneled catheters uh, there so that the patient, you know, in palliative care also is more comfortable than he usually is. Uh, so. Uh, the other reason we do is, is uh, we burn tumors in their place. Sometimes if there's a small uh, lesion in the lung or the liver and the patient is otherwise okay, uh, instead of going in again for a, another invasive surgery, uh, we can go in with a needle and actually burn these tumors in their place uh, so that the patient is very comfortable uh, post-procedure. So interventional oncology is one of the latest advancements in uh, uh, interventional radiology. Uh, then of course even in the routine treatment of a lot of conditions like you know routine treatment of varicose veins, uh, routine treatment of uh, uterine fibroids, varicose seals, interventional radiology is making rapid strides and people are now realizing that interventional radiology is the way to go because it is minimally invasive with a shorter stay in the hospital. Uh, I see interventional radiology only increasing in the next few years. Uh, as people uh, realize that you know um, these uh, treatments probably work um, easier and uh, better for them, uh, I see the scope of interventional radiology increasing to treat a wide range of other conditions also.